Hey, welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to replace the dock bumpers on this reefer trailer. It's a utility reefer trailer. And the reason I'm doing that is these bumpers are kind of important. When you back into a dock, these bumpers should be the first thing that hit the building. They hit their dock plate area there, that, the little bumpers. Uh, that keeps from damaging the uh, keeps from damaging the back part of your trailer here your doors everything these things get worn you know they get abused so periodically good to replace them uh, keeps you from having uh, damage claims and uh, it's not a, a big hard task to replace them so today I'm going to show you how I'm about to put this trailer on the road here for the first time and I want to have it ready and and looking good working good as you can see up in there those two bolts sticking through that's going to be the back side of the bolts for your dock bumpers i already sprayed them with penetrating oil to get them uh, loosened up here so i'm going to get my tools ready and we'll buzz these things off bolt broke off inside so sometimes that'll happen I just got to pound it out and get a new bolt and so I got my new bolts here these are uh, they're half inch and I'm gonna never seize the crap out of these things here so that next time they come off and number one I don't have to fight with them and number two maybe I won't snap them off so uh, just gonna coat them up good here and these are grade 8 bolts I don't think you necessarily would have to use grade 8 on this but I just kind of use grade 8 on everything on the truck and trailer because why not I hate when stuff breaks and uh, by the way this is a three-quarter inch uh, socket that I'm using for this also yeah, I got called away for a while so I, I gotta go ahead and wrap this up here before it's dark I had to go put out some fires for a couple hours so I get this other bolt in here and I'll show you the completed job so there we go that's what our new dock bumper looks like as opposed to the old one here all chewed up let's take a look at the back side there we go there's our bolts right there, new washers, and I did use lock nuts and anti-seize on there. So next time I gotta change them, maybe I can get it apart without snapping the bolts off. So I got called away for an hour, a couple hours actually. So I gotta finish up that other side and uh, get this done here before dark. It only, you know, if you have everything you need, this is only about a 10 minute job per side. So it's cheap, easy maintenance. You can do it yourself and uh, all of said and done with the bumpers and bolts hardware for less than twenty dollars per side maybe the whole thing so quick easy video for you today if you like that kind of thing hit the like button subscribe check out the videos on the screen now we will see you next time